Hi YouTube, say hi to YouTube chat. Anyway, today we have finally the drip marketing for Emily, a character that's been long... Um, for a long time she's been rumored, she's been... It, it, it's been something that people have been waiting for, it's been something that people have been excited for for the longest time. Uh, we were expecting her to come out like four patches ago and she is finally coming out in 4.8 and we just got the drip marketing for her. So, there she is, Emily. A thousand cents traced, a renowned perfumer. When it comes to fragrances, sensitivity varies from person to person, but the preferences tend to be similar. Few in the world are amenable to every kind of odor. Fresh, floral, fruity, such are the scents of Emily's perfumes, meticulously crafted, exquisitely presented, dazzlingly, dazzlingly, displayed on the shelves of Fontaine's Cartier Lyonnais. Dated, decayed, decrepit, such are the traces erased by her touch, everything made as good as new. If you've never been, if you've never before heard of a forensic cleaner, you might at first struggle to imagine what such a professional entails. Profession entails. A for she's a forensic cleaner? But if you're lucky enough to become acquainted with Emily, feel free to ask her a question or two. She's both an excellent listener and exemplary respondent, so you'll no doubt receive a satisfactory answer. Wait, she's actually a forensic cleaner? Is she? Maybe she does both. Like, maybe she's a perfumer by day and a forensic cleaner by night. That's great. Wait, what? Yeah, I thought she would just be like Chiori, but for perfumes. But there seems to be a bit more to her than that. So she, she goes and clean up like crime scenes with perfumes to make sure it doesn't smell bad. <laughs> okay, she's the, she's the bleacher of Genshin. And this is her design. We're gonna actually not look at this right away um, because there's a full picture and we're gonna go over the full picture first. So this is her, but we have the other post right here. There it is. How incredible! I can perceive emotions through water, which humans cannot. Yet they are capable of using it to regulate their mood. And they accomplish this with a fragrance in liquid form. I see. I believe I have a better understanding of this concept now. Nuvulet. Talking about uh, Emily and perfumes, I suppose. Name, Emily. Title, a thousand cents traced. Renowned perfumer. Vision, Dendro. Constellation, Pomum de Ambra. Naruhodo. So, um, she's a dendro character. A lot of people have been expecting her to be a pole arm user as well as a uh, burn, like the, the burning, so like dendro plus uh, pyro for the, the burning reaction and answer. Uh, so we'll see exactly how that ends up being. But here is her design and you can see that she's quite lovely. Um, I was not necessarily expecting that kind of design. I was expecting something a bit, um, I don't know. I don't know. I actually don't know what I was expecting. Uh, but she's looking pretty good, I would say. Uh, I don't know what you guys think. Uh, but I would say, like, I kind of, I really like the, the blonde into pink. It actually kind of reminds me of, uh, what's that name? Uh, the girl in, um, My Dress Up Darling, I guess, I would say. Um... The glasses, I don't know if I like the glasses. It's like the, it doesn't have the top of the rim. I, I don't know, I don't really know what to think. Her eyes are kind of nice. The haircut is okay. I was expecting more for like long hair or like a ponytail or something. The hat, she has a very elegant look to her. She kind of reminds me of a, she kind of, she kind of reminds me of like a Dendro Lisa, if that makes any sense. She really has that witch aesthetic to her, I think. Um, so yeah, I, I kind of like that. I wonder if she has any connection to the essence, um, Hexen Circle, right? Um, you can see like the little uh, sleepers here. Uh, we can see like a bell there. Um, so I really like the aesthetic, it's very, very cute. Um, we can see multiple aspects in the back here. We can see like the anchor. That's all of um, this is all the emblems of um, what's it called? Fontaine, obviously. Look at that though. Sheesh. That that cut. That dress cut is beautiful. I love it. So yeah. Uh, um. 
she looks great. She does. But I, I don't know if I'm really that interested to, to get her. Because, um, like, Burning Reaction, it's not really my thing. That said, it might make Klee super good, though, right? Because um, I think, like, Burning is very... It, this is definitely not something you want to play with, with, like, melee characters. So, like, I feel like Burning Reaction with, like, Huta or Alekino is really, really bad. Especially with Alekino, because she's so squishy. But what if, like, if she actually does end up working with Burning Reaction, she could be, like, super good with, like, range, fire DPS. Maybe she'll be good with Yoimiya. Maybe she'll be good... I feel like she could be super good with um, with uh, Klee, right? Maybe have some grouping like Klee, her, Kazuha or something. Just explode everything, have a good time. So, I don't know. I'm excited to see what she, exactly she does. I'm hoping we get some news very soon. And uh, yeah, I think she looks pretty good. Uh, that said, to me, it's probably a skip. I'm looking to get Furina's Constellation. Uh, and then I'm going to be saving for Natland because I'm very excited for the Pyro Archon. And uh, potentially also if there's a new Harbinger. Um, I'm not really interested in Del Capitano, but if... Uh, what's the name? The Puppet Girl is here. Um, oh, you know what? Colombina. Colombina. If Colombina is here, she's not the Puppet Girl, but Colombina is the one with like the, the, the wings and stuff. Man, if she's playable, I'm going to pull for her 100%. Um, I love her design. So, yeah, I think to me this is probably going to be a skip. Uh, I'll wait and see exactly what she does, see how she can synergize with some of the characters I have, and then uh, we'll figure it out. But, yeah. Um, let me know what you think about the character. Let me know what you think about her design, if you think you might pull for her. And, uh, yeah, just leave a comment, like, subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye, YouTube. Bye.